Okay, well, I'll start. Um, I'm Jan Sokoloff Harness, and I was born and raised in Kansas City. So I went away to the University of Missouri in Columbia, which isn't very far from here, a couple hours, to go to college. But other than that, I've lived in the Kansas City area my whole life. Tell us where you were born and raised. Well, I was born in Iraq. Yeah, it's quite different. And uh, I moved with my family. I my my parents with uh, we were like six kids to Israel in fifty one. I was eight years old. When I was uh, seventeen, I with the group uh, I joined the army, of course, because we need to do the army right for two years. So what did you do after you got out of the army? Actually, I I went to study. Uh, the evening, and I worked for engineer, for electrics engineer. I felt most at home uh, in Jerusalem, in the marketplace on Friday, Yeah. when everybody was rushing around buying, getting ready for Shabbos. And I don't even like crowds, but for some reason when I was there, it felt like I belonged there, which was really nice. But I was going to say, speaking of the Army and the 17-year-olds and the 18-year-olds, That was what caught me off guard the most when I first arrived. Because you walk down anywhere and there's all these babies with huge, you know, guns. And it's like, you, you house, somehow you start the life after the army. It's like, it's kind of, you know, what you want. Not everyone, of course, (laughs) you know that. But somehow that gets you to, to be at all and to know what you want. And to know this, the life, it's not easy because once you leave home, you you have so good you have good life at home. You get everything at home, and you think it's like that outside as well. But after the army, you knew that the life is different. <laughs> Before we started recording our interview, we were talking just a little bit, and you were talking about how you'd been to Boston, and you'd been to San Diego, and you'd been here, and the people are all so nice everywhere. And I was thinking, I think a lot of times what you put out is what you get back. So you're being nice to people everywhere. So people are being nice back to you everywhere. Uh, if you get in the morning and you smile, the first one that you smile, the other one gets such a nice feeling you can give you can give a gift by the, by the smiling the way to discover what makes a person tick and which is um, to discover what makes a person the way they are yeah um, talking is the best way so I think it's fascinating to hear everything you're saying you were you were about to say that the people here the people here and compared. Okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, when I go to grocery, when I go to buy things, they are so nice. I can ask people, where is, I don't know what I need, okay? They will go with me and show me. You can never see that in Israel. But I always tell my kids that it's not going to take any longer to smile and be friendly. Right. And, you know, if you have to accomplish something with someone else, It's going to take however long it's going to take, so you might as well enjoy the interaction.